Good morning, folks. We've got significant space weather impacts here at Earth. We'll be going over three science articles as well. Solar energy transfer to the upper atmosphere, a blast from the past, and the coldest known brown dwarf. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. And while things are getting active here at our planet, up there it was a bit calmer of a day. One M-class flare, but no significant eruptive events. Primary features are departing sunspots, the massive coronal hole, and some surrounding plasma filaments. But let's come back to Earth now where the solar wind is showing two CME impacts, one just as December began UTC time and another just a few hours ago at the pink lines. This was the multiple CME signature we had expected to see with the shock waves now driving KP7 level 3 geomagnetic storm activity. It's still early in the storm development, so we should keep watching the solar wind, the KP index, and the news for the technological disruptions. Everything from increased electrical fires, transformer issues, grid problems, communications glitches, anything technological. We don't expect severe global effects, but localized ones are probable. The coronal hole is also facing Earth today, so a three-day seismic watch has begun, with solar wind expected to be enhanced again from it, Sunday or Monday. Up first in the articles is one on energy transfer from the solar wind to the magnetic field to the upper atmosphere. Specific studies like this should be detailing climate models on how to include solar forcing into the equations, but the officials would rather eat grass than credit the sun. Alas, good electrical study here. Up next, we've got scientists claiming a kilonova occurred a few million years ago in the galactic neighborhood. They used the nova-level isotopes found here on Earth and calculate the needed travel time. Of course, if it was a micronova from our sun, it wouldn't need millions of years to arrive and would still produce those same nova isotopes. Which one do you think I'm going with? Lastly, folks, there's a brand new look at the coldest known brown dwarf with the James Webb Space Telescope, but done so with a data eye rather than a visual one. They have determined its temperature with incredible accuracy and found it to be about 285 Kelvin, which is 53.3 degrees Fahrenheit. That is one cool star. Folks, we are 44 days away from the next Observer event. We'll be in Scottsdale, Northern Phoenix, for an in-depth event with very special surprise guests. It's a great reason to escape the cold and kick off 2024. Tickets to the event are found at the link below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.